Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2023 Riverstone Legacy 42 FSKG toy hauler fifth wheel. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and the outside of this RV, and then we'll close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Riverstone Legacy 42 FSKG model here. And we are gonna actually start up in the front kitchen section. You've seen on the floor plan that was up there, front kitchen, rear bedroom model. So let's start up in the very front section here. So across the front of the nose of the fifth wheel, you have your Samsung refrigerator. It's a residential refrigerator, has a freezer on bottom, the ice maker also built in there, refrigerator part on top. Now they do offer a 12 volt refrigerator if that interests you, talk with your salesperson about that. You have storage over on the right, so a couple drawers down below, and then some overhead cabinets up there. Some counter space and electric outlet over there. On the left side here, same thing, couple drawers, overhead cabinet space, but they also have some controls over here. So you got an electric outlet here, some light switches, turbo exhaust fan control, and a 30 amp solar charge controller for the solar panel that comes standard on the roof. Now over on our right side here, you have your large Samsung microwave, or you can order it with a convection microwave, either one. Window over there does open. These are also dual pane insulated windows. Um, nice standard feature on the Riverstone version where that is either an option or not available on some other high-end fifth walls. Down below here, you have six drawers a pull-out trash can, and some storage space on the right. This one was ordered with the optional stone look floor. They also have a wood looking floor that is standard and available if you would prefer to have that when you're ordering your RV. Electric outlet on each side of the uh, island here. Really pretty solid surface kitchen countertops. You have a four burner stove top. They're currently using the Insignia oven. It's a very large oven, glass front, light built in, some little lights above your knobs there. You have storage on the left, couple drawers, and storage on the right, one drawer, and just storage. Panning up and looking at the ceiling area here, you have a big turbo exhaust fan there to exhaust out any smoke, moisture, things like that, or just move some air on a good day. Little hood range up there, little set up there. You have a different color roof compared to last year's version. Last year's version was kind of a 10 looking roof. So that has also changed for 2023. Over on this side, we have some storage down below, a little flip down uh, door there that has like a little sponge holder in it. You have the Fisher dishwasher. It's basically a pull out drawer dishwasher and a drawer up above. But really nice setup here. Easy to pull out. A couple little push buttons there to kind of turn it on, go through its little settings. High rise sprayer faucet, big window overlooking the backside of the RV. You also have electric outlet over there. Under mount stainless sink, it is a double bowl sink. The one on the left is a little larger than the one on the right. Little butcher block uh, covers there as well. Here we have a two person little dinette area or little desk area, depending on what you want to use it for. And again, two standard chairs 
When you do the Legacy package, it also comes with two folding chairs in all the models. This model here, the way they kind of have their own little setup, uh, dinette setup here, the two folding chairs are almost useless. There's no room for them really when you are sitting here eating, but you could use them in other parts of the RV or take them outside with you or whatever, depending on if you've got a nice area to maybe eat outside too. But when you are sitting up here, this is basically your view, kind of overlooking your living room area. Pretty cool. Now over on the right, there is USB charger ports and an electric outlet there. And while we're looking this direction, this is a tire pressure monitoring system that comes standard on the RV. A little screen you can take into your truck see what's going on with your tires while you're driving down the road. This one was ordered with the four camera observation system. So it has the Furion Vision S set up here when you order it from the factory, seven inch monitor. There's a camera on the back, one down each side and one above the entry door. You'll see that when we get back outside. Large window there. Again, overlooking the back side of the RV, the window does open. Again, dual pane windows. Step on down into the living room area here. So we have a sofa over here. This will flip out and make into a bed. So you could sleep two people here if you want, pretty comfortably. Some overhead cabinet space there, quite a bit. The windows in that slide out also open. Now looking at the sofa here, you can see I got one of the cup holders out, but they basically just push back in. So a little built-in cup holder on each armrest there. Also standard on the RV is going to be your theater seat here has cup holder in each arm, USB charger port as well. It is a power theater seat. The inverter does run this outlet, so if you are boondock camping, you can still kick back and recline. This is the cool gray furniture. Again, stone look floor. And this is the Juno gray wood. They also offer a white wood. You'll actually see the white doors when we get to the bathroom area and bedroom area. That kind of shows you what that'll look like. So window here, again, kind of looking out over the back side of the RV, there are some light controls down there as well. The light buttons with the up and down arrows are dimmable switches. Now this one was ordered with the second sofa. Normally there's a desk here standard. So you would have six drawers, a little desk area there. So you could kind of use it as a work area or whatever you want. Um, but this particular one was ordered with the second sofa. So you have more seating area here. Now this sofa will also make into a bed. However, the two sofas will not make into a bed at the same time. So that, you know, if you're looking for extra sleeping space by putting in the extra sofa, it's not really happening. They can't open up together comfortably. Uh, but if you're just looking for seating, it's nice to have that extra sofa. More overhead storage space up above there as well. At your entry door area here, there is a little drawer in the step. There's a little step light down there. And then you also have your electric box with your breakers and fuses. And then you can see kind of tucked in behind the uh, theater seat here, that is one of the folding chairs. Here, when you first walk into your entry door area, you kind of have a little coat closet area here. And there's a little bit of storage space up there. And you also have some controls. So we're gonna get into more detail on this part when we come back in to close it up. But your Firefly system with a lot of lights and uh, slide controls, electric information, some stuff there. Ceiling fan control here, inverter button here. Uh, all Forest River campers come with a one year safe ride uh, motor club roadside assistance kind of program. Um, so there's a sticker there with the number. 
little scan information sticker. You got your tire monitor system information there. Uh, some paint code information here if you do the paint job. The true tank uh, setup here for your holding tanks, really nice system. Again, more expensive than the old style probe system. And then some information about this Firefly stuff. Also the owner's club information up there as well. We'll get into the Firefly system controls again when we come back to close it up. Electric fireplace, basically a fancy electric space heater. You can turn the heat on or just turn the flame on or both. Uh, so you got some little independent controls there. There's a propane leak detector down on the right. You have a sound bar, large Samsung smart TV. It is on a swing arm so you can kind of maneuver it around a little bit. And that little glass panel down there just above the fireplace. Uh, there's a little storage underneath of there, but there's also some electric outlets, cable outlets, and things like that up in there for the TV controls. But just kind of looking back up here at the ceiling area, you have a 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. Really nice recessed lighting and stuff for your LED lights. There's ducted AC setups in here. Also, you'll notice you have a return air on each side. So this particular one was ordered with three airs. Um, they are whisper quiet airs, so it is a lot less noise going on when you're in here trying to talk to each other or have a, you know, watch a movie or whatever. Couple more step lights here, grab handle to help you get up and down the steps, and you have another drawer there. Going on up a little bit further here, just so you know what this is, this is a little sensor for your AC and heat. I think there's a couple of those in the RV. And into this door area here, we have our bathroom. So let's kind of start from the top down. So you have a turbo exhaust fan in here, controls on the wall, large skylight above the shower, medicine cabinet area there, Porcelain foot flush toilet with the nicer lid instead of a plastic lid. So definitely like their toilet a little better. Um, step in shower it has a sit down seat, sliding glass doors. Does have the adjustable shower bar in there. So you can kind of adjust the tilt of the shower head and height of it. Some little robe hook holders in here as well. Large backlit mirror. On the side of the wall there, you got electric outlet and your Truma on-demand water heater controls. Solid surface bathroom sink countertop here. Three drawers and some storage space down below. You also have heat and AC both in here. Plenty of headroom in the shower. I think if I remember right, it's like six, six, and then I think it goes up to like six, nine into the skylight or something like that. So quite a bit of headroom in here. And again, these white doors, this is basically what the decorator white wood would look like if you were to choose that instead of the Juno gray wood that you're seeing in this RV. Going on back here, we are into your master bedroom area here. Really pretty setup. So let's start over here a little bit on the right. So you have a slide out back here. This is a 12 volt slide system to get this one in and out, uh, where a couple of the downstairs slides are hydraulic. These are electric motors on the slide in the bedroom and the slides in the kitchen. Again, Juno gray wood, there is storage Hanging closet space here, some drawers down below. You have the Dyson cordless vac. Again, when you do that legacy package, uh, there's motion lights in there also. Over on the right, you have some cabinet space and overhead cabinet space as well. There's electric outlet, USB charger ports. There is a big shelf area back here behind your mattress. 
Then over on the left side, again, more cabinet space on the left, along with some more overhead cabinet space there. Now this one was ordered with the optional uh, bedroom cadet wall heater. So that little black rectangle there that you're seeing is an electric space heater built into the RV's wall. Um, you have your propane furnace, if you do the third AC, you also get a heat pump. You can opt in for another heat pump on one of the other ACs. And again, propane furnace, electric fireplace, uh, wall heater if you do that. So multiple ways to heat the RV. Also, the RV has 12 volt heat pads on the holding tanks to help it as well. Big window here overlooking the campsite area of the RV. But quite a bit of room in the bedroom. Uh, to kind of maneuver around a little bit to kind of come up each side of the bed you do have to kind of turn sideways a little bit um, underneath of this bed is the toy hauler area this bed is an electric bed that will raise up toward the ceiling to give you more height for your toys you'll see that again when we get outside now at the foot of the bed you have your dresser area with some drawer space cabinet space you have a tv here and then on the left side, you have the stackable washer dryer. On the Riverstone and Riverstone Legacy models, stack washer dryer standard. Um, it is an option, I believe, on the reserve still. Um, but overall, pretty cool little setup here. Another nice feature here is going to be as you're looking around the rv this is actually real stained hardwood um, most rvs this is a veneer paper wrap over a lumber core wood or on your lower priced rvs it's a veneer wrap over press board but here you're getting real stained hardwood cabinet styles drawer fronts you know your valances and stuff like that there um, beautiful little setup you also notice the little window seals and stuff again these are larger, thicker walls on the Riverstone. Uh, roughly three and a quarter inch thick sidewall with R16 insulation value. That allows them to kind of build in the window seals and stuff because it is thicker wall construction compared to most. Most of your large RVs are only a two inch thick wall. Your ultralight styles are usually a inch and a half size wall. So here you're roughly three and a quarter inches. All right, we're going to outside. I want to show you around the outside, and then we're going to come back in and close this beautiful RV up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Riverstone Legacy 42F SKG here. And we're going to start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up again, this is the Legacy Edition version. It's a really nice optional package that you can put on the Riverstone when you're special ordering it. Some dealers stock them with or without that package. But part of that package is the beautiful exterior paint job. They have four different paint colors you can choose from. And then they also have a standard fiberglass exterior if you don't do the Legacy package. Now, if you don't want the whole Legacy package, you still can order just paint, uh, but the package is not a whole lot more. So most people tend to do the whole package instead of just paint. So this again is full body exterior paint here over top of really nice fiberglass exterior. You have dual pane safety glass windows, which are the frameless look window. Um, a lot of brands, single pane or standard. Here you have dual pane standard on the Riverstone. This was also ordered with the optional slide out awning covers. So you can kind of see up there, there is an awning that rolls in and out with the room, protecting it from shedding away a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that, shading the top of the room. That slide topper also has a metal protective wrap to kind of help it from UV rays and stuff. Now, when they do the slide topper package, it goes on four of the five slides. They do not put one on the slide under the main awning here. When the awning's all the way out, it can come down, hit that metal wrap or hit the edging of the uh, toppers and rip the main awning. So they don't do that. 
If you want to do that aftermarket, you can yourself, but the factory won't for us. Behind this first baggage door here is two 40 pound propane tanks. Your lighter weight style RVs usually have 20s, your more higher end usually have 30s, and then you get into a big guy like this and it has 40s, standard. Just down below is a gas line hookup underneath of there, so you could plug in a portable grill out here and do some cooking if you wanted to. Here we have the front pass-through storage compartment. Decent size storage area here. Electric outlet in here, some access panels for maintenance and stuff as well. Rubber diamond plate floor. You can see some of that heavy duty steel frame working and stuff. Much heavier duty frame involved in building a Riverstone compared to most fifth wheels. Most fifth wheels, that's aluminum tubing up there or wood, depending on how low price the fifth wheel is. Um, here you can also see at the baggage door area here, roughly a three and a quarter inch thick sidewall. Most RVs on the lightweight side are inch and a half. Your higher end fifth wheels are usually two inch. Very few fifth wheels on the market are a three inch sidewall. You also have thicker baggage doors and metal slam locks instead of plastic. There's an electric outlet next to that baggage door as well. So you got one inside the compartment and one just outside the compartment. Entry door does have the touch pad entry lock with a keychain remote. So you can use your traditional keys, the remote, or you can type in a code. Now that remote and code only work the deadbolt portion, does not work the handle lock. So you wanna be real careful not to lock the handle lock and close the door with your keys inside because the remote or touchpad do not work the handle lock portion. More ride entry step with the shock assist. So you can kind of see that step holding itself up in the air right there. Um, basically, it's real easy to flip in and out of the doorway. Rated for 500 pounds, touches the ground, so it's not shaking and rocking and rolling. The RV is bad when you're walking in and out of it. But a nice improvement for RV steps. There is also a little step light down just below there. And then looking up, you also have a light just above your entry door. So step light plus the light above plus LED light strips to really brighten up the whole side of the RV very well. Now, just above that LED light, this one was ordered with the four camera system. So there's a camera above that light and then you also have one on the front marker light here looking down the side. There's another one on the other side looking down that side, and then you'll have one on the back. But it comes with that screen you seen when we were inside. So you could put that in your truck or some people bring that screen inside, get a little electric adapter to plug it in and allow you to see around your RV when you're actually inside of it. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. Model number also located right there. So when you're out shopping, looking at a dealer's lot, usually look at that main entry door area. That's where you'll usually find the model number of the RV you might like. Now looking down below a little bit here, you can see triple axle unit, also auto level jack system. So there's two jacks in front of your axles two jacks behind your axles, and then the two on the front section. Triple axle unit here again, currently riding on the Goodyear tires, 17 and a half inch H rated tires. These also have that tire pressure monitoring system built into it. Very important to keep up with your tire pressure. Also, it comes standard with the upgraded road armor suspension system in the middle kind of acts like shock absorbers for an rv when it's going down the road you can go to a much more extreme level and go to the more ride independent suspension system that is also a very nice setup to do if you travel a lot it's worth the money if you just kind of park maybe go you know florida for four or five months out of the end of the year get down there out of the cold you know, it may not be worth it as much, but if you're a traveler, consider that. That, however, more ride 
does add to the weight of the RV a few hundred pounds. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're doing all your weight specs. Midship turn signal here. So that's a really nice safety feature to have. People beside you can kind of see when you're trying to get over. Big pass-through storage compartment here across the back. There is also an electric outlet in here. This one was ordered with the outside TV feature. So you have a Jensen Smart TV out here now. Last year's version had an off-brand TV with a radio built in, and you could get two outdoor speakers when you ordered that feature. This year, they decided to do away with that and do the Jensen Smart TV instead. Another little storage compartment area here, and these are also motion lights that you're seeing in these compartments, by the way. So you can put them in motion mode, turn them on or turn them off. Electric outlet on the back corner right here too. Now looking down the side here, you can see we have two power awnings, LED light strips built in, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. And again, these big awnings also have that metal protective wrap on it. Nice little feature there. On around to the rear end here. Now we'll put some garage specs and stuff in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome to this portion of the RV video. I wanted to take a minute and show you this ramp door back here. This is the nicer, a little bit more expensive, more ride zero G ramp door. You'll notice you don't see the big spring assist helper down here. This door goes up and down a lot easier and a lot uh, less weight feeling to it when you're trying to raise it up and down. Pretty simple setup. Hit the little key lock right there. The thing comes unlocked. You can see it's actually holding itself up. It's not trying to fall down and hit me. Pull it on down the rest of the way here. You can kind of stop somewhere in between if you need to. And it goes right on down nice and easy. I'm gonna move this a little bit closer to give you a little bit better idea of what this garage looks like empty here. And you can see in here, you have four motion lights, or you can turn them off or on mode kind of thing. There is also a fire extinguisher in there and an electric outlet in there. I love the electric outlet idea, so you can plug different things in in here. But if you have that electric golf cart, you can charge it up while it's stored in here. Pretty cool setup. Now to bring this thing up or down, I'll put the measurements of the garage and stuff um, in the description below. But basically the width of the frame right here is about 64 and a half, 65 inches roughly. And then height wise, you're looking at about, when it's all the way up, roughly about 83 to 84 inches, um, kind of depending on the exact unit. I've seen it come in roughly about 84 in some and 83 in others, so it is slightly different. Um, but to take it up and down, all you gotta do is just push this button right here. So this is bringing it on down. Now, obviously going up, is a little bit slower because it's got the weight of it going up and down. And this is basically an electric system by Lippert. It's called the Slim Rack system, which is similar to the in-wall slide that they also use. Um, but basically it's a slide out mechanism. So this actually goes straight up and straight down. Um, Cena used one coming here the other day, not a Riverstone, another brand that actually was doing something similar floor plan to this. And it had like one little cheap motor and that one little motor had a couple shock helpers and it actually pushed the bed up, but also forward, creating like a foot gap in between here. So it wasn't very sealed at all. Um, so it just made a big open airspace for all your fumes to just go right on up inside the RV. I thought it was a pretty crappy design when I actually seen it. It's the first time I've seen one like that. But uh, you know, this one right here, pretty neat little setup, guys. Uh, hope that kind of helped show you a little bit about this thing here. 
And again, even if you don't have that motorcycle or you don't have that golf cart, that is a huge amount of storage for you full timers or extended stay campers. You can pack, you know, toolboxes, full size grills, uh, winter clothes, you know, switching out your seasons of clothing, whatever you need to put back there. You know, that's a lot of space for travel. You have reverse lights on the back here. Very nice safety feature again to be able to help brighten up and alert people when you're trying to back up. So many RVs don't have reverse lights. It's kind of crazy they don't do that. Ladder comes down nice and low, rated for 250 pounds. Helps get you up onto your full walk on roof up there. Now that roof is a half inch plywood roof decking where most RVs are 3 8 inch or eighth inch Luon, depending on whether it's an ultra light or a heavy duty style camper. Uh, so that's definitely a nicer, heavier duty roof. Two docking lights up top here to kind of brighten it up in case you're trying to load your, something, uh, your motorcycle or whatever at nighttime. I have done a little video on a golf cart being loaded in and out of here. We'll pop that up at the end for you. Check that out too. Rear observation camera also up there. That's part of that four camera system when you order it. Just allows you to see what's going on behind the RV when you're driving down the road. Or again, if you manage to get the little electric adapter, plug in your monitor inside, and you can kind of see around your RV while you're inside. Right here is your powered power cord reel. So you push a button to roll your power cord up, just grab a hold of it and pull it out when you're ready to use it. Over here is your dump hose holder area. So when you do the legacy package, it comes with that really nice dump hose, waste master system. If you don't do the legacy package, it does not come with a hose, but there is still a hole there to put your own hose in it. A little storage area here. These baggage doors just kind of go right on down. Again, motion lights in there. This compartment is kind of open, so it goes all the way across to the other door here. Which drops right on down. The other side of your big storage compartment. And then right in front of here, we have our docking station area. So you have a water filtration system, black tank flush, water inlets, some directional valves for your water hot and cold outside utility shower, cable outlets, the little blue hose here, uh, bath tank and black tank right here. The galley's up front a little bit. You'll see that when we get up there. And then you have another motion light inside of here. Just to the left of that, you have your on-demand water heater. Looking up here, you can see another little security light over here. And then the little black uh, square up there is your dryer vent exhaust. Such a beautiful paint job. And again, this is the white water decor. Now looking down below, you can see here is your spare tire underneath there along with the galley dump handle and fresh water tank drain as well. And then looking back a little bit more, you have your actual dump area where you would hook up your dump hose to. Furnace exhaust out right here. Over here, you have the auto level jack controls or the control to get it on and off the truck. You have your hitch light switch here. Down here, you have the little hidden compartment for the hydraulic reservoir for your jacks and some of your slides. Low point water drain here and ice maker on off valve, battery disconnect, 1500 watt go power inverter system. And then you have your water manifold system. 
that is a really nice feature there, allowing you to turn on and off individual water lines in case of a leak. Again, nice thick baggage doors. Battery compartment area here, room for four batteries on slide trays. Over here, we have some very important informational stickers we're gonna pop up for you real quick. The very first one popping up is your main production data sticker. And that sticker is basically telling you production date, VIN number, axle sizes, but most importantly here on this sticker, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Do not exceed that number, very important. Next sticker is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line, and it also has the length on it too. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker, basically telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight number on the first sticker. And last but not least, tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly, cold tire pressure. Very important, again, check your tire pressure. And it's real simple to do when you have this tire pressure monitoring system built into the RV already. Just remember to charge up your screen there. This one was also set up with the Onan 5500 watt propane generator. So that is a nice option you can add when ordering it from the factory or you can do it aftermarket. It comes already boxed out and set up for the generator, so it could be added aftermarket if you want. There's also a light up there, and then you have the disc brake reservoir here as well. Now this unit comes standard with disc brakes. Not all Riverstones do. It is part of the legacy package, but if you don't do the legacy package, you get drum brakes standard. Or you can even opt in for disc brakes if you want. Without doing the whole legacy package, you could just do the disc brakes as an option. So again, it kind of depends on the price point you're trying to hit when ordering one of these. This was also ordered with the Kurt air ride hitch system here. Nice setup, you have an airbag in here, shock absorber as well. Um, this is a nice feature to have, but some people don't like this version and they wanna do a more ride version. You could do that aftermarket if you want, talk with your salesperson about it, but most people are really pleased with this hitch setup right here. You have the little hitch light up above there step on back out here so you can kind of see the front of this thing. Again, beautiful paint job, really nice, heavy duty fiberglass front cap. Couple LED light strips coming down the sides there. I get a lot of requests from customers asking to see something actually loaded in this thing. Um, so I had an old lot golf cart here and uh, just wanted to kind of give you a quick idea of how it sets up inside there, the way it all kind of looks and kind of show you how much room is still around it. All right, so we got her loaded up in there. As you can see, again, just a little two-seater golf cart, so there's still plenty of room at the end here. Plenty of room on both sides of the area. Obviously, I got it a little more over to the right side there, so it gave me a little more room to squeeze myself out of there. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. I'm trying to update a lot of the information for you. Kind of squeeze back up in here. You can kind of see here, still room around. We're not touching the wall or anything in there. A 
You have an electric outlet in here, a couple other uh, lights back up in there. Those are motion lights also. But pretty easy setup, not real hard to put up and down in there. Again, guys, check out CouchesRVNation.com. They let me do these little videos for you guys. All right, we are back inside the brand new 2023 Riverstone Legacy 42 FSKG. We're going to close this RV up for you real quick. So when you are ready to close things up, you do have to come back in here to your Firefly system. And just to kind of go over this a little bit here real quick, we are on the home screen. I know it's a little hard to see this in this, the uh, camera, unfortunately. But you have water pump switch, 12 volt tank heater switch, a battery meter telling you what's going on with the battery. Your tank meters to tell you what's going on with how full your tanks are. A master light switch to turn, on, uh, turn off or on almost every light in the RV right here. Then you have one of your AC systems on the main home screen. Hit the electric button here, it kind of tells us again, battery meter, what's going on with our electric system a little bit. Next, we have some individual light controls all right here. Next, we have our AC controls. This one again was ordered with three ACs. So you got one AC here, which has AC control and furnace control for your propane furnace. The next AC has AC control, and this also has a heat pump on it. And then this one was just an AC. But again, when you order these things, you could put a heat pump on one of the other ACs if you want. Then we go into slides and awning controls here. So we are going to, you can kind of see that's a little bit color coded. So it kind of tells you what's going on with, you know, which slide you're getting ready to attempt to run in or out kind of scenario. So electric slide door side, let's hit this one here. That's going to bring in the kitchen here again on the door side. Currently using the Schwentech slide system up here. But comes right in. And we got the electric off door side slide. And these slides again are powered by 12 volt motors. So as long as you've got good batteries on this thing, you should be able to run this straight in, straight out. Okay, so you can kind of see here with the kitchen closed up, not really affecting the step area up into this section, but I'm not really getting past it either to get to my cabinets up there or my refrigerator. It blocks it off pretty well with the island being here in the middle. But I still could, if I'm stopping at a rest area, I could come up in here, you know, if I had maybe a sandwich or something already made, uh, or if I just wanted to bump out a slide real quick, I could still come up in here, sit down, and eat a sandwich or something real quick. And we're going to go back here. I want to set down the camera in the bedroom just so you can see what this looks like closing up and we can't set it on the dresser unfortunately not enough depth there for the camera holders and everything so this probably isn't going to look real great but let's try it out and see then we'll pick the camera back up and show you what it looks like so when this closes up come in here to electric bed slide hit the retract button and again, that's gonna come right in and butt up against the side of the bed. It's not a real deep slide, so it doesn't take up a whole lot of space when it comes in. And you can kind of see this a little better now. But when it's in, it's again kind of butted right up against the bed. So you're not getting into that portion of the closet. 
you are not really getting into your washer dryer area but you can climb into the bed from the foot of the bed or this side over here you can still access your dresser you could still get down into those cabinets or your overhead cabinets so bedroom wise you could come in here and sleep if you had to at a rest area without opening the bedroom slide you could still get to your bathroom as long as this downstairs slide is open so now let's run in these other ones very very important when closing these slide outs up to make sure that your floor is clean so you don't run things over and tear up your floor also very important to make sure that glass is flipped down above the fireplace and your tv is strapped back so you don't rip it off the wall okay so with that slide closed you're not really affecting the ability to get to the back of the rv or the front of the rv but you're also not really going to be able to watch your tv or anything either it's cutting off half your tv very close setup here now this slide we're going to do next is the one that really kind of cuts you off from the back of the rv so if you're stopping at a rest area and you want to get to your bedroom area or bathroom when traveling you would have to bump this slide out out some so you can get back there so when it's closed i can kind of step around here i could come back here a little bit but you can see you're not getting to the back half Now these down, these middle slides, the downstairs slides here, these are hydraulic. Again, this is a 12 volt hydraulic motor that runs these in and out. So it just takes a couple seconds here to hit the button. I can run the room out partially, let off the button, go up in there, use the bathroom, grab something out of my bedroom if I want, or I can continue on the rest of the way if I have the width to do so, depending on where you're at. And then you can run on in there, grab what you want. Pretty simple, easy to do, fast slides. Again, thanks a bunch for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I hope this was uh, very informative for you.